It is Wednesday. It is the 2nd of October. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. We begin this hour with American domestic politics having an impact on Asia. U.S. President Obama has called off a trip to Malaysia and the Philippines to focus on serious issues at home. The U.S. government shutdown. Secretary of State John Kerry will take the president's place next week. With the shutdown now in its second full day, House Republicans will try again today to pass bills to restore funding for some parts of the government. A, mil a million federal employees are staying home today without pay. National monuments, museums and parks are closed and President Obama is cancelling a major overseas trip. Senior White House correspondent Brianna Keeler joins us now from Washington. Brianna, Washington's entering day two. Yeah, entering day two and we're really starting to see the effects here, certainly here at the White House, Manita. President Obama... You know, right, Brianna, thank you so much. Brianna Keeler there reporting to us from the White House. Well, we're going to stay with the uh, political crisis theme and we're going to turn to Italy now. For the convicted fraudster versus the prime minister, that's what they're looking at. Right now, Italian leader Enrico Letta is fighting for his political thank life. Thank you so much, Ben Wiedemann there live for us. In Rome. And of course, this is a story we are going to be following all day. Later, Christiane Amanfour will be speaking to the former Italian Prime Minister. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Just ahead, calling in the experts how Oscar Pistorius plans to challenge. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Onita Rajpal. Some of the other stories we're following for you here on the show. Disarmament experts arrived in Damascus on Tuesday ahead of their mission to help eliminate serious chemical weapons. A watchdog says the inspectors will focus on the initial planning phase and expect to visit nearly 50 sites. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told world leaders not to be fooled by Iranian President Hassan Rouhani's efforts to mend relations with the West. Mr. Netanyahu says that under the current government, Iran's nuclear weapons program has continued unabated. Iran calls the comments inflammatory and unfounded. The leader of Greece's far-right Golden Dawn Party is due to appear in court. Nikos Mikaliakos was arrested on Saturday along with other lawmakers from his party on charges of forming a criminal gang. Three of them have just been released from jail pending trial, while a fourth was kept in detention. Diana Magne has more. He's a world-famous athlete with a string of medals under his belt, but South Africa's Oscar Pistorius has had to put his life on hold as he fights to clear his name. The double amputee is accused of murdering his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, in February. He denies the charge and has hired a team of U.S. forensic experts to help build his defense. CNN's Robin Kerner reports. Oscar Pistorius' defense is being bolstered with the arrival of a team of forensic experts from the United States. Myanmar's president, Thien Sein, made his first visit to the state of Rakhine on Tuesday as violent unrest broke out in the troubled region. In a meeting with local elders, the president urged people not to incite violence. Police say mobs torched Muslim homes and a woman was stabbed to death on Tuesday. Nearly 200 people have been killed by violence in Rakhine since June last year. A confrontation between a motorist and a group of motorcycle riders got ugly in New York. Most of the shocking incident was caught on video, which has gone viral. Susan Cattiotti explains what happened. This biker is now under arrest for several charges. You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Another tropical storm is brewing near the Philippines. We'll bring you the latest from the World Weather Center after the break. A beautiful shot of a clear night here in Hong Kong. You are watching CNN News Center. Let's take look at a look at the global weather picture now. Meteorologist Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with the details. Hi, Mari. Hey, Monita. Yeah, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, the weather not too far from you. We're going to stay on that side of the world for now. Any already flooded, any amount of rain that falls here is a huge concern. Back to you. Mari, thank you very sure. much. As the U.S. government shutdown drags into its second full day, one federal worker sent home without pay says it's like doing the walk of shame. A lot of people are just plain fed up with Congress, and others are saying, where's the panda cam? Jeannie Moss explains. Knock, knock. Who's in there? No. 
And before we go, we'd like to share with you some good news. CNN has been recognized at the News Emmy Awards. This network won for its uh, live coverage of the U.S. presidential election for night. For watching CNN News Center, I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the news headlines in just a couple of minutes.